Hey guys, this is Bring Me at the Farm. Uh, we've been having a lot of rain lately, so I haven't been able to make a video today until now between rain uh, storms. But it's about to sprinkle again, so I'll make this quick. I don't want to ruin my camera, but this is my uh, berry patch. So we have we have raspberries here. There's about 35 feet of raspberries. And we have raspberries there, another 35 feet. And then we have our blackberries right here. And you can see some of them are making it. And some aren't. But for the most part, they're doing pretty good. And I have my watering system all hooked up. And uh, yeah, they're, they're doing awesome. Then I have this bush right here, which is actually a, a cherry berry back here that we got when we were getting raspberry starts. It looks like a raspberry plant, but it wasn't. Where is it? Oh, there's a cherry right here. See that? Oh, I just broke the branch. Shoot. So there's a cherry right there. Here's another blackberry. and so on, but this watering system that I put in has been a huge blessing, huge. What I did was I came down here, let me show you. So each one, this is hooked up to the sprinkler system, so it's all on the same uh, water line and I control it from my sprinkler box and that works really well but this ball valve here I can adjust my pressure or how much water flow actually goes down the line and then at every plant I drill the hole on the bottom of the PVC pipe that way it just shoots directly into uh, where, it's, where it's needed that plant, but that's it. Let me back up. You guys can see a little better. That's it. So I got over here will be a, a blackberry line. That's a blackberry line. That's so I need to put the fence up with this blackberry line there. And then the other ones are raspberries, and each row has its own watering uh, valve so it works really well and so now my berries are on autopilot last year my berries didn't do very well just because it was so hard to water consistently but I don't get any weeds up here this was all compost that I brought in I got 20 yards of it and most of it came here it's pretty, I mean, that was a ton of compost. It went there and it went down there. But this is level up here because my, if you guys remember, I asked you guys what you guys thought I should do because of the, of the slope. Slopes down. And uh, this is what I chose to do. I built the walls, the retaining walls. And then over here, I have more strawberries that are starting to come up. You can see all those flowers right there. Look at that. It's awesome. But I gotta fill these cinder blocks so I don't get spiders and crap and bees or uh, hornets. And I'm gonna cap them too. So I'm gonna, in another video, I'm gonna actually make a cap stone out of concrete. And we'll just kind of go from there, but that'll be another video if I have time to make it or do the project. That's it. Looks pretty cool to me. It's a work in progress. Anyway, so this is Bring Me to the Farm. Quick little walk through my berry patch, and hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.